Today we are unboxing the new X2 controller from Horner Automation. The first thing you'll notice is that it comes in a plain white box made with fully recyclable materials. It's identified as a Horner Automation product with Horner Worldwide locations located on the front. This is important because the X2 is a Horner design product designed by our global design team. The part number and barcode are located in the lower left hand corner of the label. In this case, the HE-X2R model, which features relay outputs. The hardware and firmware revisions have been split apart from the model number and they have their own barcode. Okay, let's open it up. If you look inside, you'll notice there is a colored document included. This is the new Quick Start Guide. This is a new document type from Horner to help our customers get their products installed and up and running quickly. Step-by-step -step instructions are provided along with a website reference where they can find additional information. Once you open it up, you'll see complete specifications and a guide to all the connections. On the rear of the document, there is a detailed installation procedure along with a handy template for the panel cutout. Users can cut this out and apply it to the electrical enclosure door where the product is to be installed. Some very useful information included right in the box. Next, we'll take a look at the package of installation accessories that come with the product. These include terminal strips along with mounting clips. For those of you who have used Horner controllers in the past, you'll notice that these clips are a new design. These are made of a composite material and they are very strong. When properly installed, they allow the X2 to maintain a watertight seal for a NEMA 4X or IP66 type rating. All of our testing indicates that they are every bit as effective as our traditional all-metal mounting clips. Setting aside the accessories, let's take a look at the X2 product itself. On the front of the unit, you'll see a 2-inch graphical display. You'll see soft keys positioned around the screen. These are used to actuate graphical objects on the screen, like push buttons and selector switches. In the center of the product are arrow keys. These are used for navigating menus and in combination to call up the system menu. Here are escape and enter keys, and you also see numeric entry keys which double as function keys. All the keys have a tactile feedback from a long life dome and have great feel. As we turn the product over, you'll notice that all the user connections are on the back. Starting with the built-in I.O., you have three removable terminals that are color-coded with unique pin counts to prevent misconnections in the field. There's also a convenient pry point allowing a small screwdriver to easily remove each terminal. Along the top are communications ports starting with a serial port followed by a CAN port on a red connector. The connector is red to make it easier to differentiate from the serial port. Next door to that is a blank place for a LAN connection. No, that's not for the X2, that's for the X4, the X2's big brother. The X4 will be out later this year. In the upper right hand corner is a USB Mini B programming port. In the lower right hand corner is where power is landed, 24 volts DC. And as you turn the unit on its side, what you won't find are any jumpers or dip switches, but you will find a micro SD slot. This can support memory card sizes up to 32 gigabytes. So that's the unboxing of the new X2 controller from Horner Automation. We hope you'll take an opportunity to pick one up and check it out.